kitten. I got the order to get you out of here. Who? What are you? Just follow me, okay? Am I dying if I follow you? No, but if you stay here, you might. Um, okay. So, are you a ghost? Did you die? Well, kinda. But he gave me a second chance then, to help other strays like me. Here we are. Wow. It's been a while. By the way, who is he? Wait here. Where are you going? Mom! Hey, Mom! Over here! Darling, how are you? You... I need your help, Mom. Can you do me a favor? Um, yes, of course. Wow! What is it? Do you need to go out? Oh, my goodness! Oh, you poor thing! Here, warm up by the fireplace. Thanks, Mom. Huh? Hey, wait! You died, right? What happened? Well, yes, but I was made a guardian cat so that I can save other cats from my fate. Oh, but you will come home again? No, but you will. But wait! I love you, Mom! My baby. Don't be afraid, my baby. Here is good place. We must hide from evil Bone Man. Excuse me, ma'am. Your efforts are honorable, but you can't stay in this place. No! Go away! Me and baby will be happy family! In this environment? How? When was the last time you were able to feed him? Do you find enough clean water? Do you? Stop! Stop now! My baby is mine! Huh? Mommy, you can stop now. Uh -huh. Please, you can't stay here. Uh -huh. I'll never leave your side, okay? But I want you to survive. Survive for me? Baby, I'll try to survive. In a bit. The sunny spot under the living room window was always our favorite place. Sometimes we would fight about it, as if there wasn't enough sun for both of us. Un until I no longer had to fight for it. Can you come back? I'll share my son with you, okay? But you never came back. Not even our human knew where you were. So we started to wait for you together, every day, on our favorite place. And the sun felt twice as warm as usual. Hey, puppy. Come here. So cold. It's okay. Your soul remembers the cold, but it subsides in a moment. Here. So, what happened to you? Earlier. Help! I, I can't swim! I'm coming! Hold on! Gotcha! Oh wow, is he okay? Yeah, I think he's fine. Oh good, cause we have to do it again. Last recording was too shaky, sorry. Throw it back in. Now I can finally go home to Mama. Oh! Death? Death, why are you sitting here alone in the rain? Because she's not ready yet. An otter? Don't be scared. It's okay. Take your time. She wants to watch the rain one last time. I see. May I sit with you? Of course. Life, you remember that otters have a favorite rock? Yes. Why? The little one gave me her rock before we left. She was afraid it might get lost. 
I think... I think you should have it. Huh? It reminds me of you. Hmm? Mice? Mr. Reaper! We were expecting you. We need to know what happened. It's... It's the mice. The mice were poisoned. Wait, you mean... And I fed them to my... Mommy! Mommy! Hello, Mommy! Meh, mommy! Here, jump into my robe. Come on, little ones. You can do it. But they haven't even learned to fly yet. That's okay. Sometimes you practice flying while you fall. Don't worry, Mama. When I grow up, I'll be able to fly. But you... will never grow up. And it's all my fault. Death, before you go, tell me, will the grief ever pass? No, but it will change. It will feel like an open wound for a long time. There will always be a scar, but someday you'll treat it as a reminder of your love. Hello? Where are you, friend? Ah, <coughs> uh, friend, I don't feel so good. Just too hot. Huh? Hello, puppy. You should get out of there. There you go. Thank you. It is so much cooler outside. But I still have to wait here for my friend. A friend, you say? My best friend! I hope she finds some shade out there. Huh? She hasn't noticed yet. Ah! Uh. Friend, I waited for you. <sighs> oh, be careful. It's very hot in there. Where are you going? Wait for me! Oh, I just wait here then, okay? I'll be here. A long, long time ago, life and death decided to exchange roles in order to better understand each other's work. Life took her new role very seriously and gently guided each soul into the afterlife. But death never felt so alive. And while life tried to stay strong... I'm... I'm so sorry, but we... we gotta go! No! Stop! Death wanted to create new life. Something never seen before. A new stage of evolution. And there it was. Death? What is that again? It's, uh... All right. But hear me out, it hunts via electricity and it lays eggs, but still lactates, somehow. And it has venom too, with 80 different kinds of toxins to be exact. And what is it? Perfect. Oh, and it glows in the dark. <sighs> Wait, what is that? What? This. Are you hiding... a pup? N no You're supposed to take- I think we need to switch back! No! Sometimes I go through old photos, and it's like I can still hear you singing. It's been years. When do you plan to come? Well, once a flock, always a flock, Mr. Reaper! Milo? Oh. I miss him. I was told that we were once considered useful by humans. They said we delivered messages or something. Is that true? Were we friends once? 
Whoa! Something edible! Quick! The other birds haven't seen it yet! Not exactly healthy, but at least something. <coughs> oh! Sometimes, I wonder when they started to hate us. I'm not one of the animals you love or like to meet. But could you at least stop punishing me for suffering? Seeds? Are these seeds? Bon appetit, my friends. My wife can't come anymore. I hope it's okay that I cover for her. Oh, you don't look so good. And your poor foot is tangled in a thread. Come here. Poor thing. You're so weak. Martha would have loved you. Oh, I do. <laughs> Welcome to the flock. I'm sorry, little one. If you see Martha, please tell her I try my best to hear. Oh, Robert, you're doing wonderfully. If only I could tell you. You'll soon find out. These birds never forget a face. They will let him know. Lily has always loved autumn. Catching leaves and watching raindrops. Especially curious about pumpkins. Maybe she loved Halloween too. Sometimes I searched the whole house until I found her in a pumpkin. She always loved to hide in weird places. If only all of your hiding places had been so safe. It's been a year already. Poor Lily. Halloween is not the same without you, Lily. I have decided to carve a pumpkin for you every year and put it close to my bed. Is this the right house? Yes. Where are you hiding again? I'm here. Are there any cars? I'm scared of cars. No. No cars in sight. How long do I have? Let's say... until tomorrow at dawn. All right. Well, happy Halloween. I'm home! Oh, a pumpkin! Trick or treat! Thank you! Thanks. Thank you. Mm. Bye. <laughs> hey, pup. I told you they can't see you. Here. Chew on this. But, um, give it back when you're done, okay? Dear Trixie, I think we both often wished to speak the same language. Stop! Fortunately, I love you doesn't need one. That's mine! Hey! Just like, what are you eating? But what I couldn't tell you was, I'm so sorry. Or even goodbye. The worst thing is that you are gone and present at the same time. Everything reminds me of you. And I wish that the Reaper was here to tell me that... A part of the journey is the end. I wish he would tell me that he will take care of you, that you'll be fine, and that we'll meet again. Are you coming? And imagine, just imagine if it was in his power to split realms for one last farewell. Although it never needed a common language to signal love and care for each other, if I could have translated one thing for you to understand, it would be... Thanks for watching! Check the latest episode and also playlist with similar episodes like this one. See you in the next video!